focus of this video is going to be the states of matter, in particular the particle model, and how solids, liquids and gases interact. So if we focus on the solid particle model then, as you can see all these particles are really close together and touching. We say that they have a regular pattern because they're in rows, and we also say that they vibrate about a fixed point. They have a fixed shape and a fixed volume, and they have very low energy. When we heat up a solid and it turns into a liquid, we turn around and say that it no longer has a regular pattern. The particles can move around each other, which means that they're in a random pattern, although they're still close together. It has a lot more energy within the molecule, so the vibrations are a lot more, and it fills the shape of the container. Finally, when you heat a liquid up and turn it into a gas, the particles become separated from each other, so we say that they're far apart and in a random order. They're moving really, really fast in all directions, and they tend to fill the shape of the container, and they have the most energy out of all the three states. Okay, let's have a quick test to see how much you picked up from watching the video. So, an example question could be, for each of the following statements, tick if they apply to a solid, liquid, gas, or more than one. What you need to do here, then, is to look at each of the properties and put a tick in either one or more box. What I'd like you to do is pause the video at this point, have a go at the question yourself, either write it down or just do it in your head, and see how well you've done. Okay, you should have had a go at the question by now, so let's check and see if you're right. So the first one, I have a fixed shape and volume, will be for a solid, that's the only one. My particles are touching, you've got two there, which are your solid and your liquid. The one that has the most energy is the gas, and the particles are not touching is also a gas. And then the final one, I take the shape of the container, is a liquid. Hopefully now you're feeling a bit more confident on that, so I'd like you to have a go at the review section. So this is describe the main properties of a solid liquid and a gas, and you may wish to draw diagrams to aid your answer. Have a go at it, and if you want me to check through it, bring it to me.